Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, first of all, Sarah would like to send her apologies for not being able being able to be here tonight. Uh, she's still working her full-time job at Adoption Network Cleveland, and tonight is her last board meeting um, of the season, so she does greatly uh, apologize for not being here. Uh, a little bit about Sarah. She was has been born and raised in Northeast Ohio, uh, lived here 26 out of her 31 years. Uh, the five years she didn't, uh, she moved to Kentucky to find employment, which was hard after the 2006 election. Uh, during the 2006 election, she was the executive director of the Lake County GOP. Um, she is dedicated to service. Since uh, after she left uh, Kentucky, she went into serving her community. She's worked at nonprofits all of her life, uh, first starting with Alzheimer's and Parkinson's disease research and nonprofits, um, Golden Retriever recruits. And right now, like I said, she's an Adoption Network Cleveland. Uh, she's also a mentor for a 14-year-old girl um, in the Cuyahoga School District who she meets with four times a month. Some of the issues that she believes strongly in, she's a supporter of the Second Amendment, strong advocate of agriculture and farming, pro-life, dedicated to shrinking government, cutting regulations and taxes, and increasing efficiency in state services willing and able to work with Democrats and forge consensus. Now, like the two gentlemen that just spoke, Washington's in a gridlock. And I think with more people that are willing to work across the line and compromising, I think we can avoid that, and we have avoided that in Columbus. Uh, we're willing to rise above, above partisan bickering that has elevated both parties to address the issues facing our local communities. And that's the biggest thing, is facing our local communities. There are 99 house districts in the state of Ohio. What's good for the 76 isn't always good, isn't going to be good for the first, second, up, all the way up to the 99th. And she wants to hear your voices. She wants to take you, your voices, to Columbus and see what the real issues of the 76th district, from the top of Geauga County all the way down to Aurora over to Garrettsville. We want to represent everybody's voices in Columbus. Uh, a big uh, issue that she wants to address is tackling substance abuse and dependency in our area, especially the opiate abuse. And we need to continue progress made to move Ohio's economy forward and continue our economic recovery. You look around the other states, they're not doing as well as Ohio is because we have people who are willing to work across the line in Columbus, balance the budget, and get things done. And I believe that Sarah can do that. Uh, some of the endorsements that she has had is Ohio Chamber of Commerce, NFIB, Ohio Right to Life, Ohio Form Foreign Bureau Federation, Ohioans for Concealed Carry, Buckeye Firearms, Ohio Society of CPAs, and Ohio Restaurant Association. And we want to work with everybody to ensure that the people of the 76th District are going to have their voices heard. And I'll be sticking around until the end. If you guys have any questions, feel free to come up and ask. And I'll be happy to give you both of our phone numbers and our email addresses if you guys have questions at a later date. And I thank you.